Point number eight, taslit al kufa al muslimin This is another crucial point, especially in the 20th century. And that is, as long as the non-Muslims are controlling the Muslim countries, we will continue to be slaves to them. And when I say control, not just physical control, it is psychological control, cultural control, social control. What is happening now, they are using satellite dishes to destroy the societies in a way that the colonial armies could never destroy it. One of the brothers who went to Mauritania amongst this group called the Shanaqata. The Shanaqata are people living in the Sahara. The same sheikh is from the Shanaqata. Very simple people. Right on the earth. The colonial, the French came in there, colonized the place, tried to, to destroy it. But after many years, they were, the French were driven out. They were driven out of Algeria. Driven out of all of, of West Africa. Then, when the recent colonial people came in, they didn't bring an army in. They gave scholarships to the young people to come to study in America. And then they, they gave them televisions and they could get also a satellite dish. And when they saw that television, when they came to America and some of the young people came back with an attitude, walking in the way that you walk with an attitude, wearing clothes like uh, uh, you know, the people wear here, pants hanging down, uh, not even in the Sunnah way, right, but pulled down forcibly, wearing the clothes uh, like the people here, following America, they were able to, to, to destroy the culture in that society in 10 years in the way the colonial, could, colonial army could not do in 90 years. They did it in 10 years because with that television they came right into your home. The colonial army could not usually come inside your house. But this time they violate your home, violate your bedrooms, and they show your children scenes that even adults should not be seeing. And so they lose their haya, they lose their shame, and they, lo they lose their taqwa and their feeling, their connection with Allah. In Mecca, we went to make Hajj in Mecca, and came out of Mecca, and you look and you see McDonald's, the golden arches. It's halal McDonald's though, halal. Also Baskin Robbins, and Burger King. All these different shops, Pizza Hut in Mecca. Not that it's haram to eat these foods, but this beautiful Arabian cuisine. Everybody now leaves that and now they want to eat uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken and leave their beautiful Arabian uh, foods because they want to eat French fries, fast food. They've entered the new uh, 20th century and the fast food is killing them. It is destroying their bodies. It is destroying their minds. But yet, because of, 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 the, of the cultural control, it continued to be prop propagated amongst the Muslims.